Hey y'all, it's me, it's Laura B from Craft and See with Laura B. How is everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. So today we're going to finish working, or not, yes, we are going to finish working in the Flora Secret, Secret Journal that hopefully I will have finished over the weekend and then we'll do a final flip through on it. Fingers crossed. Can't make that promise, but I'm going to try really hard. We are to the decorating stage. I have made pretty much all the journal cards and that kind of thing. Um, I am trying to go a little bit light on decoration again, like I did in um, her test kit. So let us get started. Um, it is going to be a bit of flip through, you know, so I get to where I want to be. Um, I've decided that if I put anything in these little pockets, they will be um, little trinkets. But since there's not a lot of fussy cuts that came with it, I'll probably leave that to whomever. So, made it, uh, you know, cover. You know, you know what I'm trying to say, and I can't say it. So, here are large journal tags, and yes, they fit, but I like that I had an idea with the hummingbird. Anyway, so... I'm pretty much, as far as I remember, done with signature number one. You know, again, trying to make lots and lots and lots of writing spaces and not decorate it to the nth degree like I always do. So I can get more done. Here's the center page we did yesterday, or Wednesday. Another tracing paper with pockets. Here's a fold-out writing spot that I made into a tuck as well. So pull this. Ugh, there we go. The other side of the envelope. And signature one is done. Again, if I spend all this time decorating each and every one, I'm never, ever, 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 ever going to get it done, y'all. So, it's going to be light decoration. These are one of the wax seal stamps I did a while ago in another tutorial. Let me see if I... I'll try to link it. Okay. Alright, sorry. One of the long tags that came with the Flora's Secret. Again, I'm using Flora's Secret by uh, Jane over at Janie B Journals. I went in, I made my own backing paper. I used, first I used the Victorian Velvet. Then I followed that with Spun Sugar. And then I used my concoction of whatever was in here. Um, and then I put a little bit of uh, the metallic rose gold in there because there's already something in here. It's something really sparkly. And, uh, it already, and it already had some rubbing alcohol in it. I think I might have put a little bit more. And sprayed that so it gives it a nice shimmer. And to keep the shimmer from coming off, I went ahead and used... Gotta get it. Good old Mega Hairspray by Aussie. And that, the hairspray um, seals in that stuff so that it doesn't, you don't get little sparklies all over your finger. I have added it, the liquid, the stickier the better, into here. And I don't see that it gives as good as results as just spraying the dog out of it with hairspray. You know, harken back to the 80s big hairstyle. This one is actually a fold-out writing spot. More tags there. Another one with a cluster I've had for years. I'm pretty sure that's her Jingy B design on there, but it looks like it would be hers, but I don't know. It's been so long. These are the um, Carolyn's Musing that I... Uh, the hummingbird kit that I showed you guys yesterday or the other day. I still need to do the middle signatures. 
on these. So let me fasten them together so I remember. One of my part of my snip, snippet roll. Just put a couple of her tags. Another folding writing spot with a tuck. And so I think we're about, might be done with this one too. Like I said, not going to do a whole lot, but I think I do want to do a little something to this one. So here comes the problem. Whatever am I going to do? <gasps> I don't know. What is she going to do? Oh no, help us. Oops, and I forgot to start the timer. Starting the timer now. And I know I just sped through all of that. But what we're going to do is these watercolors came from Fairy Taylor Digitals. And remember, I will link everything in my description box, um, if not just the name of the creator, but the link to what I purchased. If I purchase multiple, which I did of hers, I will probably just link one. So, um, this one also came from Carolyn's Musings. Little bees. And actually, there's butterflies and bees, so I think I'm going to do that. Again, I'm trying very, very hard not to overthink and just do. I would like to print out these bees in a smaller, um, you know, size. So, what are y'all working on this fine Friday? I hope something fun. Anybody have special plans for the weekend? Well, you know, the here in America, the 4th is coming up. Although it's a Tuesday. I don't think, if I remember correctly, because, you know, I haven't worked for a while, so it's I don't pay that much attention. Um, you know what? I just want to check something out. That looks more like a wasp to me. And why anyone would want a wasp is just, cannot figure it. No, I just had that one. I just had a thought. I want to look up to see what it would look like. No, too big. Too big, wouldn't look right. So, cause some of these look like hornets to me and some don't. So, you know, why would I want to put a flying, you know what, on my, like that one. <laughs> that looks like a, a wasp to me. Anyway, all right. We're just gonna put this one down. Um, so what I was saying, uh, 4th of July is on a Tuesday, so probably just going to, uh, have the holiday celebrate, you know, the federal holiday on Tuesday and not Monday and Tuesday. But you know what? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. I think that's how it goes. I don't know, it's been ages. Is that concentrating? Not wanting to take all day. Although when I set a timer, it makes me feel, perhaps this is really the first time I've set a timer, but I know how I get being timed. I tend to uh, I feel like I have to beat the clock and I get all flustered and nervous because I'm trying to go faster and faster and faster. Anyway, so I don't think I have any plans this weekend. It's supposed to start being a scorcher 
which leads me to my next thing. Um, this coming, you know, starting, well, Sunday. You know, you know how it just ramps up. Anyway, hence why my AC is on. I have it on low. I'm sorry, but it's going to be too hot in here for me. Ooh, look, he's trying to fly away. Trying to fly away. So I am, again, once again, trying very hard to stick to the... Ooh, shoot. I want a crab cracker. Um... Don't think, just, God, don't think, just stick, and hopefully not have it keep jumping out of your hands. It's a live one. It's a live one. It's alive. We're in science. Sorry. Showing my age there. Well, doesn't necessarily mean that I'm showing my age. I mean, there are a lot of people younger than I am that have taken on to that classic 80s movie. So we are going to do this. Um, like I said, these watercolors are from Taylor over at Digital, or Fairy Taylor Digital. I don't know why that is hard for me, but it is. Um, even though this kit is not whimsical, I find these watercolors to be whimsical, and I just like them so much. And plus, they're watercolors, so they're not garish or anything. I do like them. Ooh. So I am going to try to to film three videos today I'm going to attempt and you know I'm realistically telling myself you know it's only going to be two you're going to be lucky to get two out <laughs> but I can dream I can dream on being ahead enough that I don't ha run into what happened over the weekend where I was feeling very poorly indeed and then therefore shortage y'all a video um you know i am trying to build my channel consistency is key hard to be consistent when you know you don't have yourself a backup and then you get you get migraines all right hmm. izzy's on the hunt of something i'm betting that she's found herself a squirrel that she thinks she can catch. Usually that's what she's doing when she's barking right outside on the deck there. And she's gotten herself a, seen herself a squirrel that is in the trees and she's never gonna get it. But that does not stop her from trying. You know how they are. She has been, I am pleased to say, she has been a very good girl the last few days. Well, she's been a good girl. Today, she tried to make off with one of my home decor birdhouses that I made several years ago. Um, and I heard her on the stairs, and I was like, what is going on? That is entirely too much noise for her to be playing with her toy, but give her the benefit of the doubt. You know, she is a bulldog. She does get a little exuberant with things. But no, she grabbed something of mine and was just about out the doggy door, but it was big enough she ran into the side. And that's where I caught her. I didn't even have to tell her to go to her crate. Wasn't even going to tell her to go to her crate. I just took it back and scolded her. And she went to her crate for a few minutes. I came back downstairs and, you know, when I went up a little bit later, I, uh, I just realized I had laundry in the washing machine. I forgot to set the timer to put the laundry detergent in it, but that's okay because honestly, it's just Isabeau's blankets and she doesn't technically need fabrics softener. 
in her clothes, even though it makes them smell nice. Because God knows she was a smelly, smelly girl when I gave her a shower this morning. Smelly, smelly, smelly girl. Oh my God, she was smelly. So, I don't know about y'all, whoever has dogs, how yours are, but, you know, like I said, I adopted her when she was almost four. So, almost two years ago. Just coming on two years, the end of September. And, um, why does that not want to go in there? There. Uh, she was already very well trained. You know, like every dog out there, they have their, everybody on the planet has their, some issues where they're not so great and she has hers you know she's very licky she's a licky dog um she doesn't like her her toenails being clipped however for the most part she takes care of it on her own because she chews her toenails so she does a decent job at her own foot care so that's good um, what was I saying? Her bad habits. Oh, she's exuberant. Oh, the shower. She does very well in the shower. She does not like it. And I'm sure I could get there in, get her in there a lot without treats. But when I first got her, she, it was a lot of pushing and pulling. And now I just throw a treat in the shower. And I have a walk-in shower, so that makes it easy. And she walks in. You know, she doesn't like it. Again, like I said, she does not like it. But she tolerates it well. And she'll lift her legs for you, you know. Okay, I gotta lift this leg. Are you done? Alright, fine. Now I'll lift this leg. Are you done? That kind of thing. She braves it stoically. It's funny because she so knows she's gonna get a treat afterwards. And I can barely get her, you know dry as dry as you can get them with towel you know her feet her undercarriage that kind of thing um and then she's wiggling and waggling and looking around with the ears pricked and you know everything because she knows okay the treats are on the counter i want my treat i endured this shower this cleanliness thing you foist upon me where's my treat That's my easy girl, and that is how painfully, I don't know if that felt painful to you, but it felt really painful to me, the fussy cut. Because, you know, I got the song. Which I think I shall spare you today. If you like my song, please tell me, my fussy cut song, if you've heard it. If anybody pays attention to it. Stop putting that away. I'm like so afraid my camera's gonna shut off. Like say, oh my gosh, there's too much memory. You know, or not enough memory, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. But I really wanna get as much done with this as I can. And yes, it is a very big butterfly in comparison to the tree, but the tree's in the background. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Let's see what I've got in here. Um, those are awfully tight, so I don't want to put anything um, big on there. Let's see. I'm going to put a peony. The contrast. That's a poppy, isn't it? I don't know my flowers very well. Well, I know some. I know tulips and daffodils and roses and peonies and dahlias. But. And I'm pretty sure all of you have seen you know, know the whole tape trick on these kind of stickers. You put the tape on the front and it peels off. Just in case someone didn't, I was new and didn't know anything. 
You know, that would be interesting to know. I'll have to ask that in my Facebook group. Um, so, if you belong to my Facebook group, please leave a comment in the Facebook group as well telling me when did you start junk journaling and if it was later in life, were you always crafty with paper or other things? I would love to hear that. I was not a crafty girl. I mean, there are a few times in grades, you know, when, when I was young, like in grade school and stuff. I, I loved shrinky dinks. And um, let's see, what else did we do? We painted um, Christmas present ornaments. And I really enjoyed that. That was fun. I found that fun. Um, let's see, I've got some phrases here. These are uh, Tracy Fox, and they are just random. I like this one, Adventure Starts Here. I did not need to pull them all out. Now I have more Tracy labels, but they're not kind of, uh, I like this one, so we're going to use that in something. I like, um, you know, they're the random sciency and the uh, Japanese ones. And I'm just, I know, I know, I know, I just don't fill up matches, though. I mean, heck, these colors might not even match. That's okay. As I'm looking down, all I can see in the reflection of my glasses is my nose ring. blue in today. Adventure starts here. Adventure starts here. And we are going to couple it with a bird. Because birds are adventurous, right? They travel to and fro. And I'm not going to think any more than that. Other than maybe that one. Sorry, I did the whole uh, lay one down, close your eyes, take it off, put the other one on. So you can't see it until it's on there. It seems to work better for me than just, you know, back and forth while looking at them. Take it off, close your eyes before you put the other one on. So you kind of have a blank slate, which again, works for me. It may not work for everybody. But I'm very visual. So, signature done and yes it does fit I used double-sided tape on a lot of these and I was watching Rachel over at Roxy Creations and she had said how she doesn't like using it on pockets because things stick and I was like what so to make this easier I'm going to open it try to be as gentle as I can with the cover Oh boy, where did you go? You fell out of somewhere. I just didn't put you back. There you are. There. All right, so here we go. Around the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. I'm going to leave that. I think, where did I see it? And we'll put, make sure I have what I want to do. A page, yes I do. All right. Yes, you hear me talking to myself. I absolutely love this background paper, Jane, if you watch. I just, the color, it, it, it's not quite a pink, but yeah. There is something stick, oh, that's what it is. Aha. 
that's what I'm sticking to. I'm wondering, what am I sticking to? Now, Fabri-Tac, you know, you can see it through there. But I've discovered that even though you can kind of see this, it doesn't seem to be as noticeable to me, to my eyes. Once it dries, I can't quite see the line as well. You know, each their own, but it seems to work best for me. There we go. All right. There we go. See, fixed it. It doesn't take much. So, back to this. Yes, I see you. Yes, you're a free girl. Yes, I'm talking to myself. That should not be new to you. Hope I'm on screen. Hope I'm still recording. Yes, yes, and yes. Ugh. I get it on there correctly. God knows I've been wrong before. Okay, and this one. Where in the hey, hey, hey did I put it? They're staring me in the face. They're staring me in the face. Some of this old book page. I can't remember the name of it. I took the book apart on one of my earlier videos, like I'm on the bonus at the end. It's something about the history. <laughs> history of the world. Not part one or part two. Just history of the world. If you get it, you get it. Just doing an eyeballing measurement on. Now it took me a while to figure out that because this was a military book, it um, as in it was printed right around the war time by like an army base. The printing is crooked on it, and it took me a while. And you know, I don't do crooked at all, so it did take me a hot second to. Or to, to be okay with that. And I did learn from this, Mitzi, over at 307 Junk Journals, had mentioned this before about um, Barely Arts or, excuse me, Art Glitter Glue showing through old paper uh, book print, and it does. I did notice that with this. Sorry. So you can see it through here, but I can live with it. Oh, I know. I can live with something. Wow. So eventually, I have some small cards made up already. Not many. So, I'll kind of just stick those in there as a placeholder for now. And actually, I'm going to take these out. Come on. If I can. I just did my nails again. And this gel nail stuff is thick. Well, there we go. Let's get... This reminds me that I have something I want to do there. And here's another tracing paper, which I am going to leave uh, center spread, which, you know, I'll figure out something, not right now. These will be my weekend chores. Hmm. Let's see. 
I did get this new lace for another journal and a couple of journals that I'm working on. So, and I had another, oh, there's, there's the spare. So it looks like this. Hope that's showing up. It's nylon -y as opposed to anything else very gauzy as you can see so it doesn't lend itself well to wait a minute i wanted to do it here to gluey however i will just stick glue and what i dislike is i don't like the shiny of the glue showing that's that's my thing that's my sticking point <laughs> No, bad, horrible, dad joke. What can I say? I was a single parent, so I guess I am still a single parent, even though my son's grown and gone. Is that how that works? So I would like, let us put one of these whimsical flowers again from Taylor over at Taylor, Fairy Taylor D Designs. Fairy Taylor Designs. I gotta get that in my head. Fairy Taylor Designs. I like this one. I do. And no, I'm not gonna make a tuck. It's just gonna be a page embellishment. I'm trying so hard to channel um, like Mitzi, our styles are completely different and I'm really not into botanicals like she is and you know, so, however, just because your styles may differ from a creator does not mean you cannot implement their, um, strategies or losing my words. You know what I'm, I hope you know what I'm trying to say. I'm figuring you do. Um, anyway, they're practices. So that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm getting really, really warm. Uh, it'll pass. It'll pass. It'll pass. Freaking hot flashes. The bane of women's existence everywhere. I try not to cut the dang, rip the dang thing. And it just apparently reached its cruising temperature that I have the AC set on. And I'm going to have to change that. Sorry. I don't know if that worked or not. Because I know for a fact it's not 62 degrees in here. So yeah, this whole thing I kept telling you about having to get an air conditioner. So I got the air conditioner I can afford. <sighs> yeah, it could maybe cool down a bath, small bathroom. Maybe, baby. So not happy with that, but it's better than nothing. I was graciously gifted a bigger air conditioner, you know, giveaway kind of thing for free and um i'm very thankful for that it's going to go in the main room as soon as i can get somebody to help me hoist it up there because it's very heavy very very heavy i almost had it as recliner couch is in front of the window and i pulled it out and from the wall a little bit but that AC is heavy and there's no way that I'd be able to lift it from the ground up to the windowsill. So I had it on the, the couch and I know that the couch likes to suddenly recline from all the way upright to completely as far as it would go down. Just like that. I mean, literally just poop if you stand on it correctly or wrongly, depending on what you're going for. And I thought I had it extended all the way. 
I did not. And I had that air conditioner, you know, and it's one of the vertical ones. So it's not this way, it's this way. And I had it right at the lip of the windowsill and that damn couch went and down tumbled the AC onto the couch. So, you know, it didn't get hurt, but it was like, and neither did I, but still like, are you kidding me? So on these two, what I want to do is add a little pulse to because they are a little bit hard to see. And what am I looking for? I don't know where my timer is. I don't know where my timer is. What does it say? Does it say anything at all? Okay. Oh, wow. We only have 15, less than 15 minutes left. Better get crack lacking. What? Something about, what is it when a mouse, a mouse has cheese? He has a hunk of cheese. Just a hunk of cheese. He's crack lacking. I know. Bad, 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 bad. Something about the mouse and the cheese being crack lacking. Trying to get crack a lacking. Come back up. Get back the way I want you to. There you are. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? allergies are doing much better I think I'm fairly certain the issue is um, between my bedroom window and my bathroom window it's closer to the bathroom but still I have a nice size passion flower that's in bloom and well I don't do flowers very well without You know, fragrant flowers. I have a honeysuckle over on the other side, too. So, my whole bedroom area is awash in fragrant flower stuff. All right. So, signature three, well on her way. We'll keep her open. You stay in there. Be a good girl. And on to the end the home stretch. And I know I doubt this will be as much. I still have to go back and do the center signatures. But I doubt I will take you on the ride with me because I have a, another project I need to get started on. So this was one of her uh, folding tags. And I just made a little tiny notebook. There. So again... Since I'm, you know, liking this new lace, I'm going to use it more. Because it was, here you go, it was 20 yards for $3.99. So, I bought two. <laughs> I'm sorry, at $3.99 for 20 yards? It's kind of like, how do you pass that up? And it's good for all sorts of things. It's nice and stiff, so it'll go well on fabric. You know, whether you're going to make a dress or a journal or whatever. It'll go great. Now, you all saw where I put that tape. There it is. But, yeah. So, you know, it's kind of hard to pass up a really good deal like that. And Happy Mail, you know. Oh, happy mail. Oh, happy mail. Oh, how much we love you. There we go. Close enough. Oh, just quit being precious about it. So there. Just go in there like that. Our watercolor on fabric. And then... We have this center spread. 
I'm, I'm just thumbing through real quickly to see what another tuck. I do want to finish this, so. Um, okay, I can do it over there. It's this polka dot color that I absolutely love. I didn't have to on that, but one thing you can do, I'm sure you'll know if the hole's not big enough for like some of the 3 sixteenths, um, go ahead and use the tip of a pencil or something and just gently go back and forth, insert it, and it will open that up. And yes, I did hear myself, Mitzi. Huh, I heard it. I did, I did, I did. So, oh. And don't let me forget, at the end I have to show you a new something, something, something that I got from a friend. One thing I have a hard time with is these that are obviously trims is uh, using them for anything other than on the side of something because, well, you know, or maybe you don't know. Maybe other people aren't plagued with that. If you're not, count yourselves lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. And since, what I'm trying to do is since it's folded, when you look at it like this, and I try to put it in like that, or vice versa. Versa visa, whichever you may say. Okay, that one goes with that one. Nope. So I don't forget to do this. And I just wound these around toilet paper tubes. Okay, I would like to put something on this. And honestly, no. No, 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 yes. I don't know why I've got that movie stuck in my head. Here we go. But I do, but I do, but I do. But I do, but I do, but I do. Okay. I know I probably do this backwards to what some people do, but it works for me. When it works, that is. When it works. Sometimes I've noticed lately this little tiny baby stapler doesn't want to work. There. Try it again. Well, it worked a little bit better because I held my mouth just right. <laughs> Okay, decided no to that. We will put. I know I have another one. I know I have another one. Oh, see? I told you I had another one. And that does have that little bit of coffee on it. But it's just going to have to be good enough. Good enough, good enough, good enough. You know what? This is what we'll do because that does bother me. There. 
Now it can't bother me anymore. Oh, I feel like I have nothing to say. Let's see, what have I been watching? Oh, I've been watching Star Wars. I'm not sure why. I think because, you know. Well, first I watched The Hobbit. And then Desolation of Smog. And then Battle of the Five Armies. And then I'm like, you know how many seen it times I have seen the Lord of the Rings trilogy that I think I'm going to take a break from Hobbit Land. And, oh, I haven't watched this in a while. And I haven't seen the last movie in the third trilogy. I have to preface when I say the first trilogy or the original trilogy. I mean episodes four, five, and six. The original Star Wars. Everything else that came after, no, not the original. But you'd be amazed at how many people are like, oh, you mean episodes one, two, and three? That's not the original one. But, you know, generation gap, what can I say? So, anyway, I have not seen the last of the Kylo Ren saga. I've only seen the first two, and, eh, eh, you know. It is what it is. Can't say I was a fan. Can't say I hated it. I liked it enough to watch the last one. I mean, I watched episodes one, two, and three, Phantom Menace and all that, and I just didn't like it. I did not like the characters. I did not like the actors, other than, you know, some of them. I mean, you and Nick Gregor, how can you go wrong? And I'm always up for uh, Natalie Portman, but and I'm sure, you know, there are a few more in there that I liked, but for the most part, I didn't care for the movie. And nope, these are not folded perfect, and I am going to not be all over it. Except for maybe that one little bit. Except for maybe that one little bit. So, yeah, I've been watching that last night. Well, and then I had to finish up the night with How I Met Your Mother. I tend to rather, um... Oh, what am I trying to say? Um, watch comedy right before I go to bed than anything else. Kind of puts me in the right frame of mind not to have sleep disturbances, although I've been really struggling with going to sleep the last couple of nights. Um, I will put a paperclip here to remind me to do something with that, which means Oh, that's a happy color. That's a happy color. Come on, I'm trying to get another one. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be that one. Or, I got these really cute that's the cosmos and they're really just adorable you know whimsical again and I think I'm going to do that with a flower just to be different it's hard for me because it, it doesn't match the motif of Flora's secret but it does not in my opinion you know it's not like suddenly I'm putting you know, I don't know, a TV show on there or something. You know, nautical theme anchors and stuff like that. It still has to do with flowers and birds.
<laughs> yeah, I know I'm quiet. I'm quiet, I'm quiet, I'm quiet. Again, these are from Fairy Taylor Journals. And I know I've said it probably four times in this video. But... I'm A, cementing it in my mind. And B, reminding everyone where I got these lovelies. Oops. Didn't mean to slam that down. this per se and lo and behold I did I might put kind of like this bird he's been hanging around for a while trying to be rehomed so we're gonna give him a home home on the range I have to be really quiet when I sing that on camera because I always end up singing the version that is uh, from Victor Victoria, <laughs> which is not the version that you sing. And it's just this one one word, but still, got to be careful. Anyway, okay, there we have it, ladies and gents. Close up signature four. There's a final little pocket, and we are back at the beginning. And that just does not want to stay in, but it will. Trust me. All right. So here we are back at the beginning. Yes, I am not cutting these middle signature sew ins because you never know what I want to do with them, and I don't want to not have them and then need them. Anyway, so here we are. If you like what you have seen, please give me a thumbs up. Um, drop a comment in the comment box, even if it's just a smiley face or a thumbs up, just something to say to tell YouTube that yes, you watched it and you know, yes, you've commented on it. So anyway, until the next time I will, and I should, fingers crossed, hopefully have this ready for a flip through on Monday. And, um, until then... I will talk to you later. Y'all have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Peace out. Bye.